get excited. It's time for 4-H National Youth Science Day. This year, we'll be exploring renewable wind technology in the 2011 National Science Experiment, Wired for Wind. Wind power is a renewable energy source. It's also clean, widely available, and low cost compared to other technologies because it uses no fossil fuels or water to create. In this experiment, you'll use the engineering design process to create your own renewable energy wind turbines. We'll then test them to determine which design is more effective in harnessing wind. Let's get started. To do part one of the experiment, you'll need to first create two stations. At the first station, you'll need the following materials to design and create the blades for your turbine. Poster board, paper cups, blade protractor, dowels, hot glue, scissors, and a pencil. At your second station, you'll grab the following materials to create a turbine testing area, the Kidwind turbine kit, and a fan. Now it's time to divide into two teams and see who can build the wind turbine with the most power. Each team will want to get started at the blade making station by thinking about what kind of blade will attract and harness the most wind energy. Do you build a flat blade like the ones you see on this horizontal axis turbine? Or do you build cup blades like the one you see on this vertical axis turbine? How many blades will your turbine have and what shape will they be? Will they be long and thin, short and wide, or perhaps even clover shaped? Once you decide on your blade design, use the materials at the station to sketch your custom blades. Next, using the scissors, carefully cut out each of your blade designs. Finally, attach your blades to the wooden dowels using a hot glue gun. Now it's time to build a prototype of your wind turbine. Take your blades to the wind turbine station and attach them to the rotor of the turbine. For horizontal turbines, use the blade protractor to set the blade pitch. Blade pitch refers to the angle at which the blade is turned. To do this, you'll loosen the hub nut by twisting the knob and inserting the blade. Now, using a blade protractor, set the blade at 10 degrees. This will be our first test. Finally, tighten the hub nut so that the rotor is snug. Now it's time to gather your teams and get ready for a wind power showdown. Each team should attach the rotor blades to the turbine nasal and make sure it fits securely. Next, Attach the turbine wires to the multimeter, making sure to match up red to red and black to black. Turn on the multimeter and set it to the 20 volt setting, then turn on the fan. Make sure to hold the turbine about 12 to 18 inches in front of the fan in either a horizontal or vertical position. Finally, record the voltage output achieved according to the multimeter. It's time to see which blade design worked best. Based on the reading from the multimeter, which turbine had the highest voltage output and which type had the lowest? What variables do you think affected this outcome? Once you discuss your blade strategy, it's time to start the process again and design a new set of blades for your wind turbine. Head over to 4-h.org NYSD to complete parts two and three of the Wired for Wind experiment, where you'll learn even more about renewable energy and mapping wind turbines for your community. And don't forget, the Youth Guidebook has three wind trivia questions tucked throughout the pages of the experiment. Text the right answer to the trivia question, and you'll be entered to win one of three Apple iPads. So, 4-H engineers, what will you build that can have a positive impact across the country and around the world? We'll see you on the drawing board. This video is sponsored in partnership with Toyota.